feel compelled to give this to you. You know, it's even you know, because it, Howard. That's right. That's me, Pedro. Pedro, a pleasure. Pedro. And uh, Pedro, what's your last name? Susa. Susa. And that's your gallery. Mm -hmm. Ah, cool, cool. And and as far as uh, this collaboration, as you described it, you're interested in uh, exploring uh, the the consciousness of the artist, but not the work of the artist. Is that what he? What you well, said? Well, for this, I mean, for this particular project, I think Alex is going to work on what he wants. You know, with us. It, you know, when you start interviewing an artist, what comes out is going to be, you know, what makes this artist live and breathe. And it's funny, I heard you guys mention, you know, what's your passion? Yeah. And um, I think most artists have their passion. Yeah. Um, I think most people, like these guys here, uh, but imagine have a passion also. You know, they're, they're physicists um, who are incredibly crazy people, just like artists are. What do you dream about? Well, I dream about the, what, the CMB, the cosmology, the universe. <laughs> I dream about, I don't know about I dream. I, I don't remember my dreams. I have a strange dream sometimes. It's a, it's a way of thinking outside the box. And, you know, we live in this place where people, you know, just kind of walk through their their day to day and just go through this kind of repetitious mode. And at the end of the day, they don't realize why they're doing it. I try to know why there is more matter than antimatter in the universe. You know, you reach a point in your life where, you know, how many years have you been doing it until you realize what, you know, what you want to do. And um, I feel extremely lucky where I found what I love to do. Right. And, you know, I found it about six years ago when, when I opened the gallery. And um, we've been real lucky to kind of have this community. And that's what this thing is all about is this community of people that all kind of have this similar but different way of thinking. But it's, it's, it's a similar way of thinking outside the box. One of you says it's easier to travel to the future than back in time. Well, he said that. No, I say it's possible to travel <laughs> to the future, but not to the past. If you get there, it's over. So you really can never get there. Because once you get there, there's, where do you go from there? But right. where are we going? <laughs> there. Well, is that yeah. It's there is where is we're going. In the future, you can travel there. So how are you travel to the future if it doesn't exist yet? No, I mean, I'm, I'm wondering, is it, a, is it an important question? Why do you do what you do? Why do you, no, it's an ongoing, uh, ongoing process of asking that question. Energy. A vision, so radiation energy. is energy. Yeah, it's a form of energy. A form of energy. A energy that travels very fast. Speed of light. Radiation in general yeah, is... Yeah, speed of light. Yeah, it's something moving at the speed of light or... Flight or, or but we, I don't think we ever reach a conclusion and we ever reach a final answer. We don't want to reach a final answer because it's all about the process of what we're doing. In principle, you can't travel at the speed of light. No. In principle, you can't. You have mass, you can. You can't. In principle, you cannot. Yeah, you cannot. You have mass. In principle. Whether you're an architect, whether you're a painter, whether you're, you know, uh, an accountant, you know, it's you know, if, if you can if you can be creative with numbers, hey, it's another way to be creative. That's it. You know, and like I say, even with these guys, I don't I don't I haven't met these guys, I don't know them from anywhere, but the fact that they are thinking in a realm that's not tangible necessarily, right. it's it, it makes you think. It's like well what else is out there?